Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are going to be drawing an underground ant hill. So, um, first we need to get something to draw on and something to draw with. I would suggest using a pencil because you can erase it if you make a mistake. Um, I'm going to use a sharpie just so you can see my lines really clearly. So, first thing we need to do is we need to draw a ground line. This is also known as the horizon line. I'm holding my paper horizontal with the long sides at the top and the bottom, short sides on the left and right, just because I need the space. Um, so I'm going to start with that horizon line. I'm going to draw it way up at the top of my paper. If I draw it too low, I won't have enough space to draw the underground part. So I'm going to draw just like a bumpy line. It's going to come up for the ant hill, and then it's going to come back down. All right, it touches all, uh, both sides, goes all the way across. I'm set. So now, this is the sky up here. This is above ground, and this is below ground. So now, I'm going to draw a little hole for where the ants come in, and then I'm going to start drawing my tunnels. And I want to decide how many little pockets there's going to be, maybe three or four. Um, so. I'm going to draw a whole, like a wavy, bumpy, ovaly circle over here. So this is my first stop. So this is where the ants are going to come first. So I'm going to draw a tunnel to this room. I guess you could think of it as an underground room, right? And then it's going to go over here, and there's going to be a room. Kind of like that. All right, so you see how my lines are really wavy and bumpy and my shapes are pretty organic. They're not very um, like perfect. They're just kind of wavy and bumpy. I'm just figuring it out as I go. So I've got a couple rooms and when I am making these rooms, I can think, what do I want in that room? Maybe this is like an ant's living room. So do you think ants really have tiny couches down in their living room? Probably not. But wouldn't that be funny if they did? I'm going to draw a little couch. Okay, there's a little ant couch. <laughs> um, if you would like, you can draw uh, the ants inside their tunnels. You might want to give them a head and a thorax and an abdomen. I think ants, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, I think ants have six legs. One, two, three, and then there'd be three on the other side. Four, oh my gosh, five, six. Ooh, that's a lot of legs. Um, so you can make your ants crawling around inside their, their little tunnels here. Um, you could make a dead-end tunnel that doesn't go anywhere. Think of it like a maze, right? And then maybe this tunnel, this room connects with the tunnel down here. Okay, so now I've drawn, ooh, a good amount of rooms, and I can start adding the details inside of all of the different rooms. So if this is a living room, maybe the ant has some artwork on the wall. He's, hang, he's hung up. Um, maybe that could be a window. I'm not sure. You think he needs a lamp? This is pretty fun. Uh, maybe there's like a rug on the floor. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think maybe now there needs to be an ant kitchen, an ant bedroom. So you guys get really creative with this. I'm super excited to see all the different ant um, things that you draw. There's a bed.
there's a little ant closet. <laughs> okay, so start with that horizon line, add your tunnels and your rooms, and then start adding in the details.